The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. It's something we've learned quite early on. And both of those instances are quite spectacular. They are calming, therapeutic and very pretty as well. So to get the best of both worlds, I've come today here in beautiful Rameshwaram, where the sun has just peeked through the clouds with its beautiful golden tinge. However, I'm also going to watch it dive back into the sea today itself on the other side of India. We are going to go watch the sunset from Varkala Beach in God's own country, Kerala. And to get me there is this, the Audi Q8 e-tron Sportback 55. Now, it's a lot of name, but then it's a lot of car as well. Packed with features, a good amount of performance, a lot of luxury and a big battery with big range. Range that is good enough to get me from east to west, coast to coast in just one charge. But things weren't so simple. First rule of order was to get 100% charge in the battery. Seemed like an easy task until I checked the My Audi Connect app that showed the closest charger is 50 kilometers away in Ramanathapuram. The app is accurate, up to date, and has a host of other features like booking service appointments, RSA, storing documents, and SOS alerts as well. When I got there, a Tata Nexon EV was already charging, which assured me that the charger was working. Or so I thought, since it was a small town with load shedding and constant voltage drops, it took a painful 15 attempts and roughly 5 hours. Each time the voltage dropped, the charger shut and I had to repeat the entire process of plugging it out and back in, scanning the code and starting the charger. Next morning, the mission was simple. Shoot the sunrise shot and race to the sunset in Kerala. Now it's a roughly eight and a half hour to nine hour journey in total, so not that stressful. That is what Google Maps claims and Google does not account for a lunch stop and unprecedented traffic. However, if I ignore it, well, it is going to be very, very difficult because in no time it will be on top of my head and after that will be a proper race to the sunset. Alright, so let's talk numbers. Well, the e-tron lineup has been slightly rejected very recently. This car earlier was known just as the e-tron Sportback. However, now it has been given a nomenclature. It is the Q8 e-tron and that's not the only change. Some revisions on the outside to the design, some feature additions. But the big one is that it now gets a larger 114 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is a big jump from the earlier 95 kilowatt hour. And that means range has shot up as well. Audi claims this car can do 600 kilometers on a single charge. Obviously, that's a lab tested figure, but currently at 100%, I am hovering around the 430 mark with AC on Eco. Now, this obviously is subject to how the car has been driven. So, if I drive it with a nice moderate foot, if I keep my regeneration in check and just basically try and eke out the maximum, I mean, it's going to be a completely comfortable journey all the way to the end destination. Since I was mostly coasting, I had the region on its lowest, so it wouldn't bog the car down each time I lifted my right foot. The Audi gets two levels of region, but I saved them for the few downhill sections along the way. Selected efficiency in the drive mode, and onwards I went. And not once have I felt the need to put it back into either comfort or dynamic. Overtaking is extremely good. You have a lot of grunt from that motor as well. It's a dual motor setup, so performance is not bad at all because to be honest, I'm not really one of the patient guys. If it would have lagged in terms of performance, I would have immediately moved it to dynamic or comfort. As I drove on the superbly maintained highways of Tamil Nadu, the sun had already started to peak through the panoramic sunroof and it was just 10 a.m. A couple of more hours of driving and around 12 p.m. we had covered well over 200 kilometers, the halfway mark on our drive. Now it's just past noon and it is time for lunch. The sun is right over my head, peering through the sunroof, cooking my hair almost. However, if I let it, it will race ahead and dive back into the sea. If I waste too much time, if I get complacent, if I get overconfident, 
so that's not gonna happen i'm gonna grab a quick lunch somewhere and then we're gonna head straight to varkala into beautiful kerala we are still in tamil nadu but the border is not too far away Well, clearly all that talk about having a light quick lunch went out the door. Biryani on a banana leaf, some chicken 65 and a cooling milkshake massaged my ego. After all, I had almost 6 hours to reach sunset. Big mistake. Little did I know that I would be playing catch up with the sun. Just look at how overconfident I am taking pictures of windmills. Just idiotic. something that became evident as i entered kerala the traffic overall narrow streets you have to stop every time a car needs to go by and it just kills absolutely kills your average speed we entered kerala with 38% charge left and roughly 100 kilometers to go but the traffic was not going to make it easy for me And sure enough 2 kilometers later I was in a proper rasha style jam with nowhere to go waiting and crawling painfully in the jam I could see the sun dead ahead mocking me and ready to dive in To add more to the challenge the traffic was chaotic and roads were peppered with speed bumps Now this car gets 176 mm as standard not the best but then you can raise the suspension through the settings and take it up to 226 mm Mercifully the roads opened up and without flinching even once I slotted the e-tron into dynamic mode. Now the dynamic mode is not just for straight line acceleration what it also does is firm up the steering and firm up the suspension as well. So you get a nice heft into corners. and the suspension is nice and taut so a lot of that body roll is eliminated dynamic did help a lot but just a few minutes of it especially uphill driving brought the charge down to 25% immediately but thankfully a few more turns in and the narrow winding road spat me out on a flat top section over the hill as the sun left its orange tinge in the sky got the perfect spot to park and with it a stunning sunset with the QAD tron the task was complete on crunching the numbers the QAD tron returned 4.6 kilometers per kilowatt hour which meant an astonishing real world range of over 500 kilometers from its 114 kilowatt hour battery pack Well here we are finally we've reached Varkala beach the sun is setting diving right in few hours ago it was right on top of my head burning my skin but look at it now we have the amazing waves and there is something that is very very common between this and Rameshwaram it's calm it's serene and most of all it is therapeutic and a lot that is common with the Audi Q8 e-tron as well it is also calm quiet unassuming and yet each time you experience it first hand just so soothing it doesn't have the flash and bang of new age evs but then neither does a sunrise or a sunset in its simplicity and unpretentiousness lies its magic <laughs>